if I mean, if if, if there's nothing else that a person remembers in economics, and I, this is even true. I mean, because it's the same thing that I had in the original version, uh, going back prior to 1984, and it's also in the 1984 edition, uh, and that's on page 60. The use of time and energy. That is what economics is. Economics is not just about money. When people think about economics, they think about money. No, money is just a tool of economics, a tool of using what? Time and energy. That's all it is. Money is about the use of time and energy. So economics is about how you use all of your time and all of your energy as an individual person. And it says here, at the end of each day, measure the value of your accomplishments only by how effective you were in saying or doing something that proved to be useful in helping to end white supremacy, which is what black economics is supposed to be about, ending white supremacy, and or in helping to produce justice. If you're having to produce justice, you're having to end white supremacy. If you're having to end white supremacy, you're having to produce justice. Why? Because white supremacy is about non-justice. It's about guaranteeing that people will be mistreated and guaranteeing that the people who need help the most won't get it. That's what white supremacy is for. That's their goal. All right? So as long as white supremacy exists, Use all of your time and energy doing the following. And these are just four things, very simple. If you start talking about black economics, non-white economics, we got to get an economic program and all like that. Okay, this is the generalized format. Just four things. Number one of the four things. Producing, building, repairing, improving, and are cleaning those things that have a constructive value and using them for constructive purposes only. That's number one. Number one. I want to reiterate that. Producing, building, repairing, improving, and or cleaning those things that have a constructive value and using them for constructive purposes only. That's what you're supposed to be doing with your time and energy. As number one, always doing something that has constructive value. If you find yourself doing anything, ask yourself why you're doing it. Is this constructive? And if it is constructive, how is it constructive? I mean, how does it prove that it's constructive? Does it build something up or tear something down? Am I making a problem or am I solving a problem? You can put it that way. Because if you're making a problem, that's not constructive. You're supposed to be problem solving. All right? That's economics. That's the correct use of time and energy. Mm -hmm. All right? Number two, studying, writing, asking questions, and are exchanging views with others about all aspects of how to eliminate racism and how to produce justice in all areas of activity, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Uh, studying and writing and asking questions and exchanging views with others. Now, you can't get lost with these four things that I'm saying. I want to interject this right now. Why? Because we're doing that right now. We are... You know, well, I'm not... We're studying. Yes. We're not doing any writing. I am. <laughs> those who are taking notes and what. Yes, okay. Asking questions. Yes. Changing views. That's what this program is about. Yes, sir. See, so I'm right on. I'm, I'm doing, using time and energy the way it's supposed to be done. About what? Exchanging views about what? All aspects of how to eliminate racism. Yes, sir. And how to produce justice in all areas of activity. That's what we're doing right now, so that we're conforming to the use of time and energy according to the code. Okay, number three, eating and sleeping correctly and only as necessary. 
Now, a lot of us need to start doing that. I have a little problem with that. Why? Because the major problem is, along about now, because I'm doing my best, trying to find out what to eat. Because the food is so poisonous. I mean, we got artificial food. We got plastic food. You go into a so-called grocery store, well-stocked. And it's all this, you know, uh, pastries and, and plastic and cardboard and whatnot. And they're selling you that it's food. It's cardboard. I mean, that's what you're eating. If you look at the ingredients on it, it's got all a whole bunch of stuff all written in some kind of language you don't understand. It's not telling you what is really happening to your body when you put that in there. Yes, sir. But as it is, you do the best you can. I'm trying to do the best that I can. Yes, sir. Eating and sleeping correctly and only as necessary. And number four... Engaging in sexual intercourse, but no more than two times every seven days, and using a minimum amount of time and resources in association with such engagements. Now, that's not to throw sand on anybody's picnic, but, you know, when you're having marathon sex, we're talking about time and energy now. This is under economics. That means you are neglecting to do the other two things at the top of the list of the four. You're not studying and whatnot, and you're not producing anything, I mean, of constructive value necessarily and whatnot, but you're just having this marathon sex. I mean, it's over and over and over and on and on and on, as if that's the focal point of everything in the universe. No. You are so should limit it, and you'll enjoy it more, too. Mm-hmm. The more that more, no more than two times every seven days. While you're doing it now, you do plenty of it, <laughs> but just twice every seven days, and using a minimum amount of time and resources in association with such engagements. What do I mean by that? It means you don't have to travel two thousand miles. I mean, and, and dress it all up. I mean, with a whole bunch of time and resources and expenditures, pretending that you're going to a so-called civil rights convention when you're just going there to get in bed with somebody. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Okay. No. Go there and take part in the civil rights convention or, or, you know, the Black Affairs Convention or the Black Caucus Convention or whatever it is. I mean, the, the Mexican Festival or whatever. I mean, but... Do something constructive. It's about doing something constructive. Is this constructive? Always ask yourself that. And the sexual thing, like Mardi Gras in Brazil, all right? Well, you look at that and say, is this constructive? At the end of the day, at the end of Mardi Gras, what was actually accomplished that was of constructive value that will resonate? throughout this entire land, from here on in. Did anything happen at that Mardi Gras that we keep having? Mm. We need to examine everything that we are doing. Talking about what now? Economics. Okay. Use of time and energy.